And next, we're going to have um, Dr. De Delia Garcia, Delia Garcia, and Dr. Diana Valle um, Restra to talk about the Florida National University Panther Project. Thank you very much um, for the opportunity, and I'll just briefly uh, say a few things and then let our project director, Dr. Raya Riestra, give the essence of the program. Um, basically, our Project Panther Life Learning is for Everyone um, is a uh, post-inclusive secondary education program for uh, students with intellectual disabilities, and as I like to call them, students with unique abilities. And it really started in 2011. Um, I, in terms of a labor of love, um, this was a parent advocate who um, had a son with Down syndrome who wanted to come to the university, and she couldn't bear to tell her son that there was no program at a university that he could go to. And it really, she touched on many doors, and um, the College of Education at FIU, we all united to get this program going. And basically, uh, it started in 2011 with one of the mini grants from the Post-Secondary Education Consortium, uh, $15,000. Uh, started with eight students. We are now at 18 students, and Dr. Valle Riestra will continue with the essence of the program. Thank you very much, Madam Chairwoman and the Higher Ed Policy Committee. Thank you for allowing us to present on Project Panther Life. As Dean Garcia said, um, we have been, um, this is our fourth year in implementation. We're a comprehensive post-secondary program. It's led by the College of Education at Florida International University, but we have two key partners who allow us to do the work that we do. That is Miami-Dade County Public Schools and Parent to Parent of Miami. That makes our program very unique. We partner with a parent resource center in understanding that students with intellectual disabilities, also their families need to be supported. The goal of our program is to make sure that we prepare our students with the knowledge and the skill base to, for them to go on to integrated and competitive paid employment. We build a support system around our students to make sure that we retain them and that they are successful by providing them with academic mentors, peer coaches, faculty advisors, resident assistants, and job coaches. And all of this translate at the end of the program to a certificate of completion that is really based on what other programs have shared. It's a person-centered planning process. So the certificate is individualized to each student's interest and strengths. Um, in our first two years of funding, we received many grants, as the dean said, from the Florida Consortium on post-secondary education and intellectual disability. In fiscal year 2013-2014 and in our current year, we received $300,000 non-recurring from the state of Florida, and we are currently requesting $500,000 in recurring fund for 2015-2016 in order to continue to expand our program beyond the age of 22. Our partnerships uh, is very critical to the implementation of the program. Day County Public Schools, as you can see from the list, they provide an enormous amount of resources to us in the form of project coordinators and full-time assistants. They travel, train our students. For those students who are ready to get a license, uh, a driver's license, they facilitate that process. The College of Education, uh, we provide the system of support for our students, access to university courses, campus events. Um, our students participate in an employment progression. They begin with job shadowing experiences on campus. We've partnered with 17 locations across our campus. Our students are allowed to shadow an FIU employee and learn their skill sets. When a student is ready for a more intense employment experience, we put them out into the community with, uh, for a community employment internship in their area of interest. Um, and then we partner with other uh, uh, partners within the university in terms of technology training, money management, uh, workshops through our College of Business. And just this summer, we launched our summer residential program to really focus on self-determination and the development of independent living skills. Parent to Parent works with our family in developing a vision board and a roadmap with our families because, again, we realize that we work with our students, but our families also need to be supported in understanding that their student with intellectual disability is now a college student. 
Thank you. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to continue with the presentation. Um, we do have the entire PowerPoint in front of us, so I hate to cut you short, but I do apologize and appreciate you taking the time to come up here and, and speak with us today.